हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक गर्ग आई एम डायरेक्टर एंड हेड ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी एट अहान हेल्थ केयर रोहिणी न्यू डेली एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिंपल बोन सिस्ट सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज यूनिकैमरल बोन सिस्ट और सोलिटरी बोन सिस्ट इट इज अ फ्लूड फिल्ड कैविटी विद अ फाइब्रस लाइनिंग इट इज इट विल यूजली हैपन इन पेशेंट विद एज लेस देन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन लोकेशन इज प्रोक्सिमल ह्यूमरस एंड प्रोक्सिमल फीमर If we look at the axis, it will show us a immature skeleton with a well-defined lytic lesion in the metaphysis or metadiaphysial area. It will usually will not have any periosteal reaction, and uh, it will not involve the epiphysis. So, it will usually involve the whole diameter of the bone, and. Uh, it can show us the cortical scalloping that means the thinning of the cortex and because of the thinning there are higher chances of pathological fracture and if pathological fracture happens that fragment of the bone that is broken will fall inside the cavity and it will look like a leaf so it is called as fallen fragment sign or fallen leaf sign it is a pathognomonic sign of a simple bone cyst so if we talk about the differential diagnosis uh, there can be aneurysmal bone cyst or fibrous dysplasia are considered as a differential diagnosis of simple bone cyst so let's look at the pathophysiology so pathophysiology of simple bone cyst is broadly unknown but because of some unknown reason there is a disturbance in the bone remodeling process because of this disturbance in the bone remodeling there is, there are higher bone resorption because of the higher bone resorption uh, the medullary there is a formation of the cavity in the medulla of the bone and this uh, cavity is usually filled with a fluid which is usually a clear fluid and gradually there can be cortical thinning and because of this cortical thinning there can be chances of fracture because of which we can we see the fallen fragment sign because this lesion is starting from inside the bone and then gradually uh, from the medulla then it is uh, coming to the cortex and leading to the thinning of the cortex because of the disturbance of the physiological process of the bone and there is no invasive process happening from the medulla to the periosteum through the cortex so usually the periosteum is not disturbed so the periosteal reaction is usually not seen so if we talk about the treatment of the aneurysmal bone cyst if the uh, simple bone cyst if the lesion is very small and we think that it is not going to do anything or any disturb anything then we can just observe actively with serial x rays uh, from 4 to 6 weeks and if the lesion is large and uh, we have to intervene we should always confirm the lesion uh, with a biopsy if we plan to do something and uh, the treatment can be simple we just aspirate from the cavity and just put steroid inside the cavity usually methyl prednisolone or some other steroid uh, under cm and uh, this usually completes the treatment and we follow the patient with serial x rays uh, sometimes there can be situation where we need to go for surgery in that situation we will just curate the lesion we can go for a uh, bone graft or bone cement and sometimes we may need to put the implants in the form of nail or plates we will usually avoid the nails and uh, this was about the simple bone cyst for more such videos please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you guys thank you very much